Halloween is just around the corner, which means it's time to get your spooky on. What better way to celebrate than learning about the haunted history of Flagstaff? So we're not here to talk about JC, we're here to talk about Mabel. Mabel was a teacher that actually taught across the street. There's a lot to learn about this city since it was established almost 100 years ago, and some believe that spirits still linger. The owner of Freaky Foot Tours, Nick Jones, created a tour that takes paranormal lovers back to the past. On the tour, we start at the Orpheum, and then we go to the Weatherford, and then the Monte Vista. Then we don't go to the walk-up murder house because there's a family currently living there. And then to the Milligan house. And we end with Mabel Milligan, which is my favorite ghost story because she's a friendly ghost. Jones says Mrs. Mulligan was a jovial ghost. She lived a really good life and she's a very friendly ghost that likes to play pranks on people here. Tour guide Stephen the Heathen says his favorite part about the job is enlightening and entertaining the guests. You know, a little bit of soft spot and make you cry in a couple of them. So it's always a possibility, make a little shiver up your spine and uh, laugh too. He says a part of what makes the job so fun is dressing up. We all try to dress as gothic western. So th this is my gothic western motif. Thank you Etsy for the awesome bolo tie. Benning says his favorite reaction is when they make their way to the Monte Vista Hotel. Ew. Yeah, I think I get a lot of ewes and a lot of shoulder rolls on a couple of them. As Halloween approaches, people like Carla McQuistian are eager to get in the spirit. Every little town and big town or whatever has history, but I had no idea it had this kind of history, so it's kind of fun. Hannah Ware, NAZ Today.